Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush with another algebra video for you. Today we're talking about relative maxima and minima. Our to-do list, first thing we'll talk about the definition. This is a mathematical definition of the relative maxima and minima. And then second, we'll change that mathematical definition into a plain English version so it's easy to understand. And maybe we'll throw in some graphics. Let's get started. So let's talk about relative maxima and minima. First, let's give you a little definition. Maxima just means plural of maximum, so more than one of them. And minima just means plural of minimum. So we have a relative minimum here, which just means we have it's the lowest point in the surrounding area. And here we have a relative maximum, which is the highest point in the surrounding area. So let's talk about the, the mathematical definition of a relative minimum. If we have a relative minimum, that means that f of a is a relative minimum. f of a is the y value here for this point. f of a is a relative minimum if f of a is less than f of x for all the x in an open interval around x equals a. So let's break that down and actually discuss, like, figure out what it means. So if we took x equals a, which we can see right here. So it's just an x value. Maybe it could be 5, maybe it could be 3. It's just some generic number, so we'll call it a. So x equals a. So x equals some number. And then we take some area around it. So from this number, we'll go left and we'll go right. And we have this area around it. So it's kind of like a little neighborhood surrounding x equals a. And if we shoot those up to the curve, then all of a sudden we have this, this area that we're looking at on the curve that I just highlighted in pink. So this pink area is represented, the height of the pink area is represented by f of x, which is here. So what it's saying is, if in this pink area to the left on the curve that you see, I just made it thicker. So in this pink area, if the dot that represents f of a, so this dot right here represents a, which is the x value, and f of a, which is the x value plugged into the function, which gives you the y value, so it's just an xy coordinate. But oftentimes, they represent the actual value of the function by the y value. So if the y value here at this circled green dot is the smallest y value in all of the pink area, then it's called the relative minimum. And that's what this part says here. f of a is, the, is less than f of x. That means you take any x in this whole region, the area, open interval surrounding x equals a, and you plug it into the function, you'll get a bigger number for the y value than you would if you plugged in f, uh, if you plugged in a into the function. Because that would give you this point right here, which is the lowest point in the surrounding area. So the open interval part that just is down here with these cur these, these parentheses, that just means that we don't include the endpoints in our interval. That's it. So you pick an interval around x equals a, plug all the x values into the function, and if the if x equals a has the smallest y value of all the rest of the x values that you tried, then there is a minimum at x equals a. So the English version, a relative minimum is the lowest point in the interval containing x equals a. So it's the smallest point in the area that has it in it. Let's talk about a relative maximum now. So a relative maximum, if we pick a different x value, say we pick x equals b, and again we have an interval right around it. So we'll go left a little and right a little, and we have this interval. We'll shoot those x values up, and if we checked 
all of the x values in this interval. So all of them we threw up and found out what their associated y values were. And we took all those y values and we compared them. Then it says f of b, which is the y value directly here, f of b is a relative maximum. So this y value is a relative, relative maximum if that y value, it had to be x equals b, is bigger than all the rest of them in the area, or in other words, in the open interval around x equals b. So if we checked all of the x values for this entire region here in blue, and all of the associated y values with those x values were all smaller than the one that gives us right here the one at x equals b, then we know that we have a relative maximum at x equals b. So in English, the relative maximum is just the highest point in the interval that contains x equals b. So, and a little, a little applied note here. When they're talking about a relative maximum or a minimum, they could just want you to give them the point, the x, y coordinate. Because after all, a relative maximum or minimum is a point on a line, and that point is described by an x and a y coordinate. But in applied settings, sometimes the function or the curve that the point is lying on, sometimes that curve represents something in the real world, like um, the amount of widgets produced by a company or the amount of profit for a given company or something like that. And if they said, what's the maximum profit? You'd be looking for one of these relative maximum values and the profit would actually be the Y value. So it's important to note that sometimes in applied problems, the relative maximum or minimum is actually the y value, I meaning the answer they want is just the y value. They don't want the x, y coordinate. So to look at it a little more carefully, if we're given a relative minimum, for example, and it's an x, y coordinate, the relative minimum occurs at the x value, which is x equals 3. So at x equals 3, we have a relative minimum, but the actual minimum value of the function is five, y equals five. Hopefully this helps. If it did, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.